All right, gang. So recently I've gone over a creative workout to help you receive a sub 25K. I've also done a sub 19 5K. Today we're going to talk about sub 18. Okay. And if you have other goals, sub 17 or even slower than sub 20, and you want to accomplish these, let me know in the comments. And I'll be happy to put out a video for you as well. So these workouts are not only applicable for the faster races, sub 16, sub 15, sub 14. These are workouts that are important in these milestones too. And sub 20, sub 19, and sub 18 are huge milestones for lots and lots of people. So and I need you to understand, running a 5K is one thing. Racing a 5K is a different thing. It's a different environment, a different scenario. And I want you as a coach or an athlete to be in a position to execute both scenarios have enough training content that will enable you to do that. I've got 400 videos on this channel. So I even have fully detailed 5K training programs. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do that right now. Please don't leave. Okay, my goal is to get to 3,000 sub by the end of the year. Your, your help is greatly appreciated, and you know, it, it means a lot to me. So, But again, today we're going to talk about sub 18 minutes. Okay, that's the goal today. And again, the goal here is to get you – to not only be able to change paces, but shifting gears, okay, ultimately to help you run a better 5K or race a better 5K, okay, both of which are very, very important. And you never know really what scenarios you're gonna, that are going to present themselves. It might be tactical. Some people might go out slow and finish strong. Some people might go out, go out fast and finish slower. It just depends. Some people might change gears during the race because they train that way, and it takes kicking out of kicker's legs. So... Being ready for all these types of scenarios are absolutely critical. So let me give you these workouts, workouts, okay? And again, these are workouts you see in some other videos too. A 20 to 25-minute tempo run is a continuously hard run. It helps simulate a race scenario for a 5K, okay? And for this particular situation, we're talking 17.55, sub-18 minutes. The 20 to 25-minute, and building towards this tempo too. By the way, I have a video on my channel teaching you how to build towards – a 20 to 25 minute consecutive tempo run in pieces. If you're not familiar with tempo runs, how to do it in multiple pieces to help you get there easier. Take a look at that video. I highly encourage it. So in this case, you're looking at 620 to 621 per mile. Okay. We take a four minute active recovery afterward to let the heart rate come down. And then we transition it to something, a 400, 300, 200, 100. You take the half jog recovery. So you, after the four, you jog a two. After three, you jog a 150. After two, you jog a 100, and so on. This goal, the goal of this is to get you turning over at different rates after your, after your tempo run, or in this case, turning over after a race in different scenarios. You never know what type of gear people have. So it's important to practice multiple gears. And that's what the four, three, two, and one do here. So the 400, you're looking at 82 to 83, which is about 3K pace. Okay. The 300, that mile, about mile pace, 58 to 59 per rep. The 200 is also about mile pace, 38 to 39, the equivalent mile pace for this 5K. And then the 100, you're looking at 16 to 17. So you're accelerating at more aggressive rates as the distance gets shorter. But at the end of the day, it's the goal. The goal of it is to get you to accelerate and change paces or even shift gears multiple times if needed at the end of a race. Okay? This takes sting out of kickers does a lot of different things. You can kick from further out as well. But the tempo run also gets you to the point where you can continually hang on in these races and continually run hard and become more comfortable doing it. That's why we're doing up to 20 to 25 minutes over distance, okay? 620 to 621. 20, minute, 20 minutes here, if you can get there, that's a good goal. 25 minutes, if you can get to the point where you're doing 615 per mile, that you'll be able to get four miles of work done in 25 minutes. So that's a goal too. 615 is a magic number which gets you four miles at 25 minutes as you progress past sub-18. So next up is an over-distance workout. This is a pace-changing workout. Seven times in 800 is 5,600 meters worth of volume. Two-minute recovery. First 400, you're going to do a 10K pace, which is 129 to 130. Then you're going to shift down to 3K pace. Teach you how to change paces again. So you're going from 129 to 130 to 132, 122 to 123. So it's a pretty aggressive pace shift, but you need to be able to, you need to know what 10K pace feels like. You need to know what 3K pace feels like. And since you're doing half at a 10K pace, you can go over distance. It's slower than 5K pace. Okay? So building towards seven times an 800. 
Next up is a little bit of an under distance workout, five times in 800, still the same difference. But now it's a little bit different. You're doing 600 meters of it at 5K pace, which is 206 to 207 in this particular situation. These are the goal times you're looking to run to get to, to, get to a 1755. So 600 or 5K pace, and then you take 200 and go down to about mile pace, 38 to 39. Or sub mile pace, a little bit faster than sub mile pace. So, 5k pace down to mile pace. So, since it's a little bit faster, or at 5k, so a little bit faster, you can go a little bit, you do a 4, 4k worth of volume here, and you take a 230 rest. Since it's a little bit more aggressive, you add 30 seconds to the recovery. If you can get to the point where you can do it with a two minute recovery, that's great too. So, you see, you have your continuous tempo run and pace changing stuff at towards the end of it to help you turn over. Then you have over distance. 800s and then under distance 800s both of which are constructed differently so let me know what you think of these workouts if you think they might be helpful if you found them helpful hit the thumbs up and again make sure you subscribe to the channel i've got a lot more content coming and if you have any specific questions about any of my training videos reach out to me directly blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com you have direct access to me and i am speaking from two decades two decades experience as former competitive runner or coach I'm also a USATF certified coach too. So um, I've used these workouts for athletes that I've worked at at the high school, college, and post collegiate level for the last two decades. So um, I am speaking from experience when it comes to these workouts too, and successful experience. And again, with modifications to people's needs. Some people have different needs. You could have five different people looking for sub 18, but some of them need different workouts, and some of them, other folks need different workouts too. So Knowing as much information, having as much information and content at your disposal as possible is going to help you make decisions and adjust, make adjustments as, and help you become a better coach, to help your athletes become better athletes, your runners become better runners. So have a great cross-country season. Train smart. Train hard. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you next time.